Okay, now let's talk about the USB flash drive module. All right, now what that does is it allows uh, a USB flash drive to connect to a terminal because right now by default uh, that feature is disabled unless you add this module. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our uh, module area and go to local storage and then I'm going to apply the USB flash drive module and then we have some configurations that we need to be able to change and have uh, modified for our use. Uh, the first section you come to is the drive access rights in session. Now if you'll notice once I select it I have a couple different values here read write, read only, and none. All right. So the uh, read write allows the user to read and write uh, the flash drive, whereas the read only, just like it sounds, allows the user to read the data but not write anything to it. And then none basically sets the flash drive to access only the unique serial number to make it usable as a term secure ID device. Okay. Um, now the next uh, section that we have here is use with term secure. It's either yes or no. Now it needs to be yes. Uh, if in order to allow the term secure identifier and then a no setting basically in conjunction with the read write access write setting will allow the device to be used as a remote remote storage device. Um, the third setting here is allow manual login. Uh, when this value is actually set to yes, it'll allow a term secure user to log into the terminal without a term secure ID device. If set to no, then term secure users must use a term secure ID device to log in. Okay, and then finally we have the prompt for password. Uh, this value, when set to yes, if we came down here and selected yes, would require a term secure user to enter their password for access, even if the password is configured inside of Thin Manager. So this is all related to the USB flash drive module. For more tips and gems, please visit ThinManager.com.